Well, hello there, YouTube. Today is Monday the 16th. We've got a couple days off from the kiddos, so I'm going to take a little ride. It's still early in the morning, so still, it feels pretty good. It's not hot yet. The air's cool. So I thought I'd take a little spin on the Goldwing. I rode it last week, or actually, oh uh, gosh, maybe a couple days ago, but my GoPro was pointing down too far this way, so I had to put the, the GoPro little brick on instead of the uh, media mod, because the media mod, the long speaker cables won't let it go back far enough so I got the other one on <laughs> but I uh, I don't know if you heard me you know, some of my other videos my helmet was killing my head so I ordered uh, new cheek pads and a new liner because the old liner was so worn out the top of my head was hitting the shell of the helmet and it just hurt I couldn't ride but a couple minutes and it just hurts I even put like a foam piece of light foam on the top of the helmet and kind of velcroed it in. That didn't help much either. So I ordered the uh, the cheek pads. I ordered to like an extra large. Ooh, look at that big old crane! I was ordered an extra large, and I my helmet when I ordered it was like 4XL. Oh God, the rope drops off. So the liner on the top I got was. 3XL, and so now the top of my head doesn't hit the shell of the helmet, so it's a, a lot better. Cheek pads are a little tight, but the helmet fits tight, so I think when I rode before, my nose always itched because I think the helmet was vibrating in the wind, and my wife even said that years ago that, you know, she even, her nose itched all the time when you're, when you're riding. I'm not quite sure if the, I don't know, her helmet was really tight, so I don't know, I don't know what it is. Well, my nose hasn't itched, <coughs> excuse me, in a while. So the new shell, the new innards just made a huge difference. So now I can, the, the helmet's not so uncomfortable. campsite. I didn't know that was even there. It's a really rough patch of road up here. Oh god. See these roads up here they just they just crack off and drop on the right side and it's just dangerous as hell on a on a spider because you just both front the front wheel will just drop off. Here's this big patch of bad stuff right here. It's just all ground up. It's missing. All the roads up here are chip seal and they're terrible. They don't fix them, they just chip seal over them so the, the road still drops off on the side. It'll drop five, six inches. It's dangerous. See right there. And now uh, we were back in, uh, oh, a couple weeks ago we were back in our hometown where we, where we came from and Leander and I could tell right away the roads are a thousand percent better in that area because there's no chip seal it's actually asphalt or concrete this is not even asphalt <coughs> it's just like a, they tar it and then they lay rock on it the roads up here are terrible better on the gold wing though but they're still terrible Oh, I wanted to, I just driving the side of the road, and there's a mattress on the side of the road. And I remember that when we lived in Leander, the county road that we lived off of, people just used it as a dump. There were mattresses, there was all kinds of stuff, just people just dump out of their pickup trucks. But we had a, uh, oh, kind of like some donation boxes kind of on uh, oh, what was that 36 going that way and there was like several boxes for donations people would come in there and just dump 
their crap. I mean, mattresses, just junk. And then it, somebody always has to clean it up. So they got tired of it because people even uh, video to people dumping off crap, just dumping it off just to get rid of it. And they do it on the side of the roads here too. I wouldn't think they would, but they do it everywhere. <laughs> and uh, finally they removed the boxes, the donation boxes. So they're all gone. So you know, a few people ruin it for everyone. They just use it as a dump. You know, they were just box springs and mattresses. Nobody wants that crap. Broken up furniture, they just dump it out of their house and they dump it there. And I see it on the roads here too, but I used to see it more in Leander on that county road we lived off of. So I think <laughs> some people just suck. That's what I'm just thinking. Some people just suck. I mean, if I had something to get rid of it, I'd call the garbage disposal and do a scheduled pickup and they'd take it. It's just crazy. That's my little rant. Bye.